Our final speaker, Mr. Mohammed Kabir Ibrahim, comes to us from Nigeria, and he is representing the University of Minnesota. Our need for housing is greater than our need for food. And I would like you to have a voice in this presentation. So I'd like to turn my topic into a question. How many of you believe that our the need for housing is greater than our need for food? I'd like it to see a show of hands. There's my people, University of Minnesota. They know what I think. <laughs> In my opinion, our need for housing is indeed greater than our need for food. And I'd like to explain why. I'd like you to consider choosing between a delicious meal and decent housing. I'm guessing that many of you would choose a house. <laughs> I'd like to give you some more reasons to consider the reason, I'd like to give reasons to consider why housing is more important than food. There are three basic needs in life. They are shelter, food, and clothing. And shelter, or housing, is by far the most expensive of the three. When you consider that a plate of food might cost $10, and a set of clothing might cost $100, and the minimum cost <coughs> for a basic home is $10,000. I'd like you to think about what happens when people do not have access to housing. Excuse me, when they do have access to housing, they will be able to save money and escape poverty they will afford better, healthier foods and better clothes. It allows them to live in close proximity to other people without the fear of um, prejudice or discrimination. And they will have equal access to basic services such as lighting and water and um, access to transportation. And finally, it would lead to equal opportunities to um, employment. So consider what happens when people do not have access to housing. First, slums develop and basic ser services deteriorate. And the second is that it leads to social segregation and discrimination based on socioeconomic uh, status. So the poor and the rich live far from one another. A third is environmental pollution and health hazards. And a fourth problem is traffic congestion and overcrowding. So I would like to propose some solutions. The first is to encourage rent to own programs, which would allow people to rent or pay toward their home. Um, and another is to establish mortgage microfinance banks, which would make it easier for people to borrow money 
to purchase a home. A third is to strengthen public and private partnerships for housing development. And a fourth is to um, increase low income housing advocacy so that uh, private and public sectors can come together to develop more housing. We all have, we all share, um, I apologize, uh, the interpreting issue. Um, I feel that everyone deserves decent shelter. Housing should be accepted as a social right for all and not a privilege for the affluent few. That's it, thank you. <laughs>